All right, there's a brief little thing I want to talk about in this replay, actually two things. And before, I'm fast forwarding to the point. Before I get there, like, like, like one, I'm allowed to have my opinions. You're allowed to have your opinions. I'm super ready for the comments in this video to be like, well, actually you're wrong because you're stupid and dumb, but also too bad, it's my opinion. All right, four minutes-ish. We have armored Kosars, so it's around four minutes. And look at all these single entities. Frostmane of Ice, Boris Ursus, and a Patriarch. They're all on bears slash a horse, so a horse is even worse. But none of them are on foot, so we can't even use that excuse for how tanky they are. Snow Leopards are routing. Literally everything is routing. It's just these three single entities standing here. They're surrounded by ogres and saber tusks and like Mainly the ogres are super high mass. They're supposed to be high weapon strength. They're monstrous infantry. So they're supposed to be good at dragging down single entities, all right? That's the function monstrous infantry perform. These guys have been surrounded. They're barely even getting hit ever. Yada, yada, yada. Bump and grind, bump and grind. Ca Armored Cossars are leaving. And then Snow Leopard is about to break out. So here's one of the two things. One of the things is that we've been here for three minutes and these guys are all still full health except for the Patriarch who's heal cap. But they're not even like taking damage. And there's a different replay coming out soon, I think, where I was talking about like a Nurgle cultist. But like, there's so many times in Warhammer 3 where units just like don't attack. But we'll have to get back to that. This is the other stupid thing I wanted to cover. This Snow Leopard is leaving the pile. This Hunter has 66 speed. 66. This has 100. Now, I've made videos about speed before in Warhammer 2 and a little bit in Warhammer 3. And some people always say, oh, but charge animations. No! No. Fuck that. And I know. I know charge animations are the reason that it's happening. But I don't have to be okay with the fact that it happened. 66 speed to 100. To 100. And this Hunter is, is keeping pace with him. Keeping pace, keeping pace, keeping pace, keeping pace, and then this is new to Warhammer 3. This part is new to Warhammer 3, and it pisses me off so much. Single entities, um, infantry a little bit too, so mo mostly cavalry and small single entities. They are so stupid when it comes to trees. I don't know why. I don't know what changed. Warhammer 2, this would never happen. Why do they hit trees? Like, why is that a thing that's actually bothering me so much? That these... They just bump into a bunch of fucking trees. And the Stonehorn can go straight through the trees. He doesn't count, because he's too big. Otherwise, he couldn't get through the forest at all. But certain single entities just, like, hit trees and stop moving. Because they have to, like, get around it. I don't know why that happens to cavalry and stuff. Anyway, so this hunter gets a charge. And then he walks up and he gets a charge. And then he gets a double charge and kills it. Like... That thing had twice his speed and he just ran it the fuck down. And I don't care. I don't care the mechanics about why it happens. I'm not talking about why it happens. I know why it happens. It's the charge thing. Yes, it's the charge animation. Human boy, you're being stupid. It's the charge animation. Yes, I know. But that's fucked up. Like, that is not how a game should be, in my opinion. Yes, the charge bone. Like, I understand why it's there, too. If we, oh, but it, human boy, if a horse lord is at 70 speed and another horse lord is at 70 speed, they would never catch up. Yeah, okay, maybe a charge bonus should help a 70 unit catch a 70 unit so that something can happen in the game. I understand that, that you want to keep the pace of the game moving forward. I get it, okay? I'm not a fucking idiot. But 66 catching a fucking 100 is different. It is very different. That is stupid. That should never happen. Like, charge bonus should give you, like, oh, five or ten speed. So two things that are very similar, something charging it can catch it. And you can't just get your your your, your chain janked. Your, sorry, your, your chain yanked around the entire map. And someone goes, oh, you can't catch me. Like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But 66 to 100 just fucking runs him down? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And it, I'm not questioning how it's happening. I know how it's happening. I'm questioning why it's happening. I'm questioning why that's the system. Anyway, back to this. These three single entities have been surrounded by monstrous infantry um, for four and a half minutes. And now the red player, I think it's Rinless. I think it's Rinless. This was from a finals uh, between Coops and Rinless on my, on my channel. Um, Rinless just takes us around. He just starts throwing at them with the hunter because the melee units are performing so fucking poorly. That he just needs to rely on the javelins. And, like, look at how little these ogres are even trying to swing. That's the biggest problem. Look at these idiots. They're just standing around. They're not doing anything. There, a couple get some swings off of them. For the most part, they just fucking stand here. 
And that's one of the reasons that single entity blobs are so oppressive, but it's like the animations are completely fucked. Where units just stand around like dumbasses and it annoys the shit out of me. Because this wasn't a problem in Warhammer 2. Anyway, we go on. More ogres, but they're not getting a proper surround. They stop as soon as one or two get involved. The hunters have to come in because their animations are actually good. And then, now that the hunters are actually getting in swings, Boris dies actually pretty quickly. But that single entity blob of three people took like six and a half minutes to kill while surrounded by ogres, just mostly because they weren't swinging. I don't know. It's upsetting. As you can tell from my voice. And like... I made a video about Occultist of Nurgle that probably comes out before this one. It depends on how I schedule the videos. But like, so there's that, there's this, and then there's the Giselle comparison video I'm gonna make. So I have three videos soon about how like the mechanics of Warhammer 3 are a downgrade from Warhammer 2 and it's making things feel bad. It's really bothering me. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for this.